Hello everyone, this is the Feisty Filipina and you are listening to my podcast number 9 here at filipinasinshowbiz.com Well, this is supposed to be podcast number 10 but I had to delete podcast number 9 because that was all about Christy Fermin having a tirade against Marion Rivera when the latter sided with um, John Lapus during his fight with Jobert Remember that time? So, I had to delete that fast because, you know, Marion and Christy are now friends, I guess. So, I have to respect whatever friendship they have right now. Anywho, so did you miss me? Um, I kind of miss um, recording podcasts every now and then, but, you know, I'm busy. I'm a busy mom. I'm busy tweeting. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, let's start our podcast number nine, part two. Our first topic is about Sarah Geronimo apologizing for apparently misbehaving on her show last Sunday. Because I guess she was uh, singing songs that pertain to Gerald Anderson and Maha Salvador. Songs like Womanizer, Take a Bow, and uh, On My Own. <laughs> How appropriate, right? Naughty, naughty Sarah. And I guess she was having a witty spiel too. <laughs> She's still making Perinig to Gerald Anderson. But she apologized for it. You know, like a good girl, she apologized for it. Like a good girl apologizing to her parents after having a major tantrum when they took her cell phone, iPod, iPad, (laughs) computer, shopping money, being able to see your friends, freedom, you know, teenager stuff. But the most important thing is she apologized for it, so, you know, that's a grown-up thing to do, right? (laughs) Anywho, the second topic is Chris Aquino and her latest posts on Twitter. Um, It started out as a uh, her asking people to please stop teasing her about Danielle Matsunaga. I guess in the midst of that, she received hate tweets from the fans of her ex-husband, James Yap. So, I guess they were calling her a bad mother and stuff like that. And of course, Chris took offense to that. Which I understand completely, because I'm a mother too. I'm a mother of two kids, and I can't do this whole motherhood thing without my husband. I'm very lucky to have a partner who's doing this with me. I can just imagine how hard it is for single mothers out there. Now imagine Chris Aquino, a famous single mother at that, a sister of the president of the Philippines doing all this on her own, you know? Yes, she has help and everything, but, you know, she's a mother. She's a single mother. She's doing everything she can. She's working, blah, blah, blah. I don't think anyone has the right to call her a bad mother, especially not knowing her personally, you know? Not talking to her face-to-face on a daily basis, not being on her team, whatever you call it. It's not fair to call someone a bad mother. Doesn't matter if it's Chris or just a regular person. Unless, of course, you know, this woman is a really, really bad mother. But in some cases, they're not. Motherhood is hard. And you know what I've discovered about this motherhood thing throughout the years? Is that when someone criticizes a mother, the one who's criticizing actually have no kids. You know what they say about walking in someone else's shoes, right? Now try walking on Chris Aquino's shoes. Christian Louboutin they may be. (laughs) You know? It's hard to be Chris Aquino. Chris Aquino is Chris Aquino. She's not Chris Aquino for nothing. Oh, how many Chris Aquino was that? (laughs) What I'm trying to say is, stop calling Chris Aquino a bad mother. Come on, give her a break. She's doing her best. She's a single mother of two, a sister of the president of the Philippines, She's a single famous mother. I mean, she's she's always under a microscope. Everything she does is picked on. Ah, <sighs> lordy. So, give her a break. I'm sure she's doing her best. Her kids are fine. They're not hungry. They're clothed. They're not doing anything wrong. They're not cussing every corner of their house, I'm sure. She's not perfect. And I'm pretty sure Chris Aquino is the first person to say she's not perfect. No one is, so... Give her a break. The kids are doing fine, right? So, don't call her a bad mother. You know, I understand her annoyance with this thing because I'm a mother too. 
And if someone calls me a bad mother without knowing me personally, I'm going to punch that someone in the face. There you go. Who's the badass mother now, huh, punk? For the third and last topic of the day, let me delve on to Sam Pinto working on possibly getting uh, leading lady roles, finally. Juicier roles. And uh, possibly going more daring than uh, she's been. Well, for that to happen, I guess she's gonna learn how to act and uh, know how to act and most imperatively learn how to act <laughs> well to her credit she admitted that she's happy with what she's getting well honey it's not like you have any choice right so keep uh, straightening your hair and keep being sexy I guess <laughs> oops before I forget have you seen Marion's FHM cover yet how do you like the pictures inside? She is hot, huh? Well, good luck on voting for yourself, sweetie. And that concludes my podcast. I hope you enjoyed listening. And uh, till next podcast. Ciao, Bellas.